What's up YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Filler Fishing Channel. Today is January 16th, 2016. I can hardly believe that this is winter time. Check that out, huh, folks. Check the sun over there in the sky and the clouds. Like I say, I can hardly believe it. It is about 48, 40 degrees Fahrenheit right now, close to 50. I'm here in Haddonfield, New Jersey. Have my carping gear here with me. We're gonna do some carping today. I'm walking right now towards the Upper Cooper River. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, YouTube family. We are almost at our fishing destination. So let me give you guys an overview of this area. And before anything else, I don't know if you have realized, <laughs> there is no more muffled sound in my videos, right? And that's because I have just installed the new audio system for my GoPro 4. So there you go, you have better audio quality now as I have promised you previously. Okay, anyways, let me give you guys an overview of this place before I get, I get to my fishing spot. If you are interested in the fishing portion only, look at the description, all right, and just jump there in the video, okay? So first stop, Hopkins Pond, Camden County Park System. Very weird pond, okay? One rod, one rod fishing has come to this pond before and he has tried to catch some largemouth bass without any success, okay? Myself, I have caught here, I think, only a couple sunnies and a couple brown bowheads, although people have told me that there is a carp population in this pond. And it was right around here a couple years ago, I don't remember exactly when, that I found a very weird duck, okay? <laughs> so this is, this is your little trip here for the bodies of water at Haddonfield. And as you guys can see, uh, the water gets Oh, from here, the Hopkins Pond, all the way down there. So let's go to our destination number two. Destination number two is on my right side. It is actually Driscoll Pond in Haddonfield, New Jersey, as you guys can see. Beautiful little place. The water gets dropped from Hopkins Pond to our left into Driscoll. I have caught a few largemouth bass from this place. I have caught a few common carp. And, you know, best thing of all, it was here that a very interesting incident happened three years ago. Actually, not even three years. I don't know when. But what happened is someone reported an Asian kid carrying suspicious items, okay? in Haddonfield, New Jersey. And in the end, as you guys can see in the photo now, three cop cars came down to chase me out of this place. Little they knew that this wasn't a gun case, right? But a rod case. So everything was fine in the end. But anyways, if I had safe ice today, which I don't, as you guys can see, I would be fishing this little body of water right here, okay? Driscoll Pond. Let's go to our destination number three. That's my final destination for the day where I will be fishing for carp, which is the upper Cooper River. All right. Leo Shang. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh my God. How's Dude, it going, I watch bro? I all your videos, man. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right. How you doing? Good. So you're fishing Driscoll today, huh? Yeah. Um, How was it? I was on, I, I always fish the Cooper River. Okay. And I catch like big ass crappies. Oh, okay. Okay. Stuff like that. So. I see. Well, thanks for watching the channel yeah, and everything, bro. Yeah, I always bro. watch your channel, man. All right, there's some man. nice crappies. On, I don't, there's not many bass in that lake, but. What were you trying to catch here today? Uh, crappies and. Uh, Large, but I really, I'm, I'm a crappy fisherman. Okay, so you like black, black crap? Nothing yeah. wrong with that. All right. Yeah. I came here for carp today. For carp? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to reason. the, I'm going to the Upper Cooper over there, yeah, little muddy place. I used to catch a lot of crappy right there at that bridge. I've been fishing there ever since I was a kid, man. I see. I've been, I've been fishing here. This is where I grew up fishing. <laughs> Great. What's your name again? Brady. All right. My nice to meet you, bro. My name is Brady on Instagram. I DM'd you before. Okay. All right, man. So Good to know. Good out. to know. Um, all right, man, you know, That's glad. That's awesome, man. I love watching your videos, man. <laughs> thanks, Micro man. I appreciate it. Finest. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate All right, it. Man. Have a nice day. Yeah, have fun. Thank you. So, yeah, folks, 
you know, it is always rewarding, you know, to meet people out there and see that they actually enjoy my work, what I do, you know. It is not so much about the fame of the channel or how I grow and how many subscribers I have, but it is more about, you know, interacting with you guys and finding out that you are catching fish, you are learning and you are becoming better anglers, you know, so that is amazing. It was very good meeting the dude. Anyways, destination number three. We are here at Driscoll Pond right now. I was on the other side of the street giving you an angle from that side. Water comes from Hopkins Pond, gets dropped into Driscoll Pond, and it goes all the way here, right? And finally, the water from Driscoll Pond, right? And as you guys can see, turns out that a Driscoll Pond is a closed body of water system, which is why I always tell folks, if you catch fish at Driscoll Pond, please catch and release. If you take all the fish out of Driscoll Pond, then there's nothing else to catch, you see? There's nothing. That's why, you know, here in this little pond that is closed, you gotta catch and release, you know, otherwise the fishery dies, okay? Anyways, the water gets dropped right over here into the destination, our destination for today. There we go, we have the upper Cooper River and I will be fishing pretty much not over here, but I will be fishing right over there after the bridge. So I'll be back once I get there. Uh, here we go i have covered all the spots for you guys this is another place that is awesome i will be fishing right over there after this little bush over here for common carp and catfish we got a steady current going on here from the rain yesterday which is good water levels are actually a little bit up when the water levels down over there on this side the left side is usually not covered in water fun story i'm linking the video in the info button above this is the exact location where my friend went uh, where my friend steve actually caught a crappie on top water years ago that was before i started working on my youtube channel you know so like amateur work but you know it was a very fun video to make right over here and as you guys can see there are signs of people having fish this place right you have three floats right over there i don't know how well you guys can see three floats right over here then you got two floats a little bit above here so yeah this is like a prime crappy spot okay people catch crappy here all the time and other species of fish here i <laughs> it's like a christmas tree you see up here how many floats there are one two three four five six seven eight and then two more over there so you know when you see this kind of stuff you know this is a good spot for fishing okay so let me just come over here real quick this is where i'm gonna set up for my session today it is going to be a carp session we are going to be using corn and small hooks i already have this tutorial on another video so i am not going through the whole thing again if you want to watch and know how exactly i am going to set up my stuff today just press the info button and tune in on the other video where i explain everything is step by step okay so this is where i will be fishing today aha and i got my net i got my rods okay i'm all good to go i'll come back when i have everything set up and hopefully we'll catch some fish today Any small bites, but the hook's pretty big. Whoa! Fish on, first fish of the day. What we got here? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man! First of fish of the day is a bowhead. Oh yeah, mighty, mighty bowhead. First fish of the day. <laughs> we come here to fish for, for a common carp and check out what we end up catching, huh? a brown bowhead. You know this is a brown bowhead, Ameurus nebulosus, from its whiskers, okay? Its whiskers are kind of dark, you see, they're not completely white. If they're completely white, 
this would be a yellow bow head. I mean, Urus Natalis, okay? And it is definitely not a black bow head. I can see that by the tail, okay? So there you go. Brown bow head, first fish of the day. Let's take a couple photos and then we'll release this fella. All right, there we go. Not bad for the first fish of the day. Time to release this fella. Can't release it very nicely, but whoa, man. Gave a little jump too, watch. This fish, man, super active. All right, so as you guys saw, first fish of the day came up on the night crawler. I got a third rod here with uh, two pieces of night crawler just for fun. And I got my two rods here with the corn, right? So hopefully we will land some carp for today. That is the main goal. All right, let's keep fishing. Whoa, 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 fish on, fellas, fish on. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Yeah, I don't know what is this, but it's on my ultralight, so I gotta let it run. I have no other choice. Let me try to force it to the left. Four pound test line, you know, ultralight. Oh, it is a carp, it is a carp. First one of the day. Let's make sure this carp doesn't, this carp doesn't get tangled here. Small one, but hey, on the ultralight, Always an awesome fight. First carp of the day, folks. First carp of the day. Let me let me net it over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. Hell yeah, fellas. Check this out. I'm so happy now. It's been a while since I've seen one of those golden, those golden fellas. First carp of the day on my improvised landing match you guys can see yeah beautiful check this out whoa 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 take it easy take it easy fella take it easy on my ultra light tackle you know that's the problem this rod here is ultra light so we're gonna get a weight on this guy we're gonna get a weight on this guy you guys can have a close view we're gonna take a couple photos and we're gonna release it first common carp of the day <laughs> all right all right let's get a measure on this guy my net is 2.5 pounds so let's see what we got here we got a total of pretty much eight seven eight pounds yeah we got a total of eight pounds a minus a minus 2.5 oh a minus 2.5 that's 5.5 so we got a five and a half pounds common carp right here. Pretty small for the upper Cooper River. Now let me just release this fella and we'll be ready to catch another one. Look, what a beauty, huh? Common carp. All right, there we go. Final view of this fish. All right, time to release it. Just gonna release, release it over here as neat as possible. I wish I could release it better, you know, go in the water and throw it back, but don't worry, fish is warm just fine, you know, I try to, to keep it outside of the water for as little as possible. So there we go, we got our first one of the day, a 5.5 pounder. Let's come back if I catch anything else. Oh, we got a little bite here again. Come on, this small fish is driving me nuts now. The bite stopped. Oh, fish on, fish on, no? Yeah, fish on. What I got here? God damn, folks. God damn. Check out what I caught. Micro fishing. At its best, bro. You can't catch a smaller, you can't catch a fish smaller than this, okay? Now, what is this? That is the main question here. Now, looks to me, what is this? Looks to me that this is a spot tail shiner, okay? So, let me give you guys a, a, a view here spot tail shiner. Yeah, there's a spot, very faint, but there's a spot here. I am 90% confident that this is a spot tail shiner. Let's take a photo and release. No, I'm not gonna release this fellow. I'm gonna put it as bait. 
<laughs> but let's take a couple photos first. All right, there we go, folks. You can say hi to my uh, friend, the Spotel Shiner. His prime bait, his prime bait now for catfish. I'm using the head in one hook, and the other one, I'm just gonna keep a night crawler, see if I can catch some different species. Meanwhile, you know, while I wait for the carp. But you know, at least I have gotten three species of fish so far. So, you know, I'm, I'm not disappointed. It's a good day. Let's see what else we can catch. Whoa, we got a bite here. We got a bite. Come on, come on, fish. Take it. Fish on. Fish on. What we got here? Another bowhead. Woo, bowhead on the night crawler. Oh, bigger. All right, man. Woo, shoot, no kidding. This bowhead is much, much bigger than the last one. Yeah, all right, man. You know, I'm usually not too happy catching bowheads and stuff. But you know, this brown bowhead here, this size, is not bad at all, folks. Not bad at all. Ooh, man, you gotta be careful, okay? Every time handling bowheads, remember, folks, be careful with the pectoral fins and the dorsal fin. This fish, they have, they're venomous, okay? You don't, wanna, you don't want it to get you. This one swallowed my hook pretty deep. I'm gonna cut it, but before I cut it, you know, let's take a couple photos, release it, all right? See, beautiful brown bowhead. Ameurus nebulosus, okay? Wintertime fishing here at the Upper Copa River. Be right back. All right, I just took a couple photos of this fella. I cut the hook uh, as deep as I could, you know, so I left as little line as possible. Doesn't want to hurt this fish. Let me just do a quick Snapchat and uh, let it go. If you don't have me on Snapchat yet, even Mr. Brown, Brown Bow has me, add me on Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do a snapshot here. Folks, fishing the Upper Cooper River, we got another species, the brown bowhead. Bigger one than the previous one. Folks, there we go. The Upper River. Ready to go. Time to release this fella here. I, I'm sure he's ready to go for a swim. Okay, let's... Oh, shoot. We gotta be careful here. Let's release it over here. Yeah, good. I, I, I didn't even go which way it, it went, but you know, that's good. All right, back to fishing. Time to tie another hook. And isn't it ironic, you know, isn't it ironic that I had a piece, a wonderful piece of, you know, a fish right here, and the fish decided to actually hit my, you know, my night crawler. <laughs> All right, back to fishing. Oh, we got a bite here. Let's see what we got. Fish on. What we got here? <laughs> Looks like a bowhead. Third bowhead of the... Is that a bowhead? Is that a bowhead? Oh man, yeah, it is another brown bowhead, all right? A brown bowhead it is. <laughs> but we already got this one, so... I'm not, you know, a big fan of it. Let's release it. I don't think I'm gonna even take a photo of this one, folks, since the second one was, you know, much bigger than this one and it is the same species, okay? It's still a brown bowhead, Ameurus nebulosus. Okay, let's just uh, take the hook out. See, hook right on the side of the mouth, perfect. Let's take the hook out and give it a clean release, you know? I don't need to cut the footage this time for anything. There we go, hook is out. Little fella, you are free. Go. There we go. Beautiful. Next. Can barely feel it. <laughs> this fish, man. They're funny. I really can barely feel it. And then nothing. What? What? Check this out. What? What a greedy little guy, man. No, check this out. Species number four of the day. We got here a yellow perch. Perca flavicens. 
so greedy and it's got bite marks too you see that bite mark here bite mark close to its tail oh my god yellow perch seriously you need to be less greedy all right man look look at the piece of night crawler ah uh, okay <laughs> but you know a species is a species let's take a couple photos and then i'm gonna release this fella beautiful yeah no now seriously now check out this orange color here on its pelvic fin now this is gorgeous right folks that's what i say micro fishing at its best okay we are done with the photos here gotta unhook this little yellow perch final view of our wonderful the species number four of the day if the fish allows us to take a view yeah gorgeous little fish hey it is a small but you know these markings they're truly beautiful all right let me throw it over here yeah there we go gone okay four species for the day so far regardless of size we're still trying to catch some carp i'll be back if we catch any more fish Come on, fish. All right, come on. Pull it a little bit harder. Hmm. All right, now it's getting a little bit better. For sure. Got a bow head probably. Ah, I can't get a channel catfish. It's, it's infuriating to a certain point. There we go. Another little bow head on the night crawler. Thankfully hooked on the side of the mouth. <laughs> so I don't have to cut my, see? On the side of the mouth, little bow head. Mwah. <laughs> there we go. All right, little brown bow head, Hameyurus nebulosus. Okay, let me release this guy here. Let me, guys, let me give you guys a good view. Good camera view, there we go. Bye. Gone, just like that.